All right, so we're here today to just go through the uh, proper setup and the tools needed for an EVD, an external ventricular drain. A lot of times people will come into the trauma bay and um, they could have hydrocephalus or a massive bleed where we have to put a ventricular drain in to divert the cerebrospinal fluid. So what we have here is just some of our pre-prep materials, things that we have to set up with our patient. Um, and we're gonna go through that, but what we wanna make sure is that you gather some of this equipment beforehand, which will typically be in a box or a container, a to-go box. And then also in one of the cabinets uh, in the trauma bay, we also have uh, three things that are usually needed for us to do the sterile procedure. So those three items that we're gonna need are in the top cabinet over here. The first one is the actual drain itself. This is the IV bag and the tubing, uh, along with the catheter and the trocar itself that's gonna pass it through the skin. If instead of doing a drain, they're doing just an IC people where we're not gonna have the drain set up, we're just gonna be looking to get the intracranial pressure, that's this Camino package here. The other thing we need from here is the cranial access kit. This we'll use for either one of those two. This is what's gonna get us inside to the brain. And these are gonna be set up in the sterile section. All right, so we have our sterile components set up, but we're gonna start talking about the non-sterile and we just wanna take you through what's important um, for us as the provider getting the drain in place. So first thing first, we always ask for a chuck, a towel, and some tape. Uh, that's really going to help us set things up and luckily we have Betty Sue here that's going to help us today so we always put a chuck under we always like to also put a towel under a lot of times as you drill and cut into the skin bleeding will happen this will keep the bed clean and also gives a little bit of a lift to the head we'll also push the head up maybe not that much <laughs> and um, obviously we're going to be pushed away from all the monitors behind us okay the next step, obviously, we're going to need sterile gown, sterile gloves, a hat, a mask. Um, so when we get to the sterile component, we'll have that stuff all ready. Um, typically, what we'll do is we'll start with the shaver. We'll connect, turn on our shaver, and we'll typically shave almost half the head, especially in the frontal bone area. The next step that we would do Sometimes I'll start with a scrub brush, get some sterile water, scrub the hair, get it away, especially if someone has long hair. Another option that I'll do sometimes is betadine or a chlor prep stick, pour this on the gauze. After it's shaved, clean it, wipe it away. Once that is done, we're gonna wanna make sure with our tape that we secure the head. Typically from one side coming across the brow, to the other. The other thing you're going to want to do, typically with sterile gloves, is open your marking pen, and in here is a ruler. Um, you're actually going to want to measure a certain distance and make your mark. Along with that, we uh, establish points of trajectory, one towards the central portion of the nose. We call this the medial canthus, and the other one is the tragus of the ear. So we'll usually draw an arrow in that direction, an arrow in that direction, and then our point of drilling is going to be straight in, making X, Y, Z coordinates. And then from there, we're going to suit up, put on our gown, our gloves, and uh, pretty much be ready to go with our sterile part of the procedure. One of the things we are going to need sometimes from the nursing staff is after we give the local is suture for securing the drain. Um, and sometimes the drain, when we get it into the ventricle, we get no flow, so we have to irrigate it. So we will always need the sterile syringes because that's most important to irrigate the tubing so that the CSF can flow back to us into the drainage system. Um, and then at the end, obviously, we're gonna staple and secure the drain with the application of more four by fours, which are typically in the actual kit. And sometimes we'll wrap the head or put a tegaderm on top just to secure everything a little bit further. And this is pretty much what we need for the uh, setup and placement of the external ventricular drain or the ICP bolt monitor. While he's doing the EVD itself, uh, one thing that could be helpful too is to set up an A-line type setup so that we can measure the ICP once it gets in. So that would be the, the clip and the electronic component plugged into the monitor and flush the line. 